Let's create our geometry and let's create our map. You open up Left 4 Dead Editor and you're presented with a blank screen. What you want to do now is create a file new and you want to create a new map. So after that, four windows pop up and right off the bat let's save our map. So save as and let's it opens up map source inside the Left 4 Dead and let's create a new folder my maps and let's create another new folder I'm gonna start map 101 that's the one the map we're gonna be working on and map 101 and version 1 save now let's first we're gonna be using uh, this tool black and in tool geometry tool and uh, what we want to do is we want to select the texture so every time you create it um, it's going to apply a default texture that you see here and we want to create you know apply our own textures so uh, let's find uh, in the filter sec in the filter you type in dev and it's what it's going to do it's going to filter out the de developer textures and we're going to be using developer textures to block in our initial stages of our map so I'm going to choose this little gray and right up on top here I'm gonna draw out our initial floor for the map now if you press uh, the spacebar and hold it down you're able to move it. so spacebar and hold down the spacebar and then uh, left mouse button you're able to rotate and uh, move around in the viewport and also uh, you want to pay attention to your snap on grid is 64 at this point you want to bring it down to 16 and the way you do that is you hit the two bracket keys uh, right next to the P, uh, right of the P uh, letter. There's the two bracket keys, You're, you want to hit those. So let's create that again. Let's go up on top. Um, when you're in a viewport, in a 3D viewport, you want to turn the 3D textured on. Uh, eventually you want to uh, have the 3D lighting preview or uh, shaded texture polygons but at this point we want to just turn on 3D textured um, and the way I'm navigating in this viewport is I'm pressing Z and then I'm in the fly mode and I am able to just go around the map using ASWD keys just like you would when you're playing the game and the mouse button uh, the mouse uh, just to look around and then you press Z again and then you are out of it and then if I press shift Z I'm able to maximize my viewport the, where I'm working on so let's create a floor uh, let's create a floor at 256 by 256 and let's uh, let me go into the side and the depth of the floor is going to be at 16 units uh, my walls and everything that I do unless it's required by something else uh, it's usually 16 units uh, thick so once you create it you press enter and it creates a geometry now the most important thing you want to do right now is you want to know um, how big this actually is and the height of our character is 72 units tall and the easiest way to do this well there's two ways one way you can create a cube that's 72 units tall let me resize this down press enter so that's our character um, another way what you can do is you can place a character entity right in here so if you pr uh, press on this entity tool and then you are able to click on your floor and it'll put in your in for survivor position uh, which is a character um, it's not a player start but it'll just put in the character for you to uh, see it is basically a scale model now if you don't see this you're able to change this to whatever you need to and all you do is you double click on whatever object the entity came up and then you change it to info survivor position so you can do either the block or you can do the character 
I'm gonna choose the character I used to use the block I'm gonna be using the character now so you just select your uh, your block and highlight it and you just press delete and that's how you delete all the brushes now let's go back into that the top and let's uh, scale our floor a bit so w what we're doing now we're just bi building a, a simple room so you can uh, select your brush and you can rescale it you can uh, resize it any way you want to and you can also move it and it just moves it for you right away and uh, I like this size so I'm gonna stick with this it's just a simple uh, room and I'm gonna go back I'm gonna pay attention to my grid back to 16 and then now I want to go into side and I want to create my my wall so I'm pressing uh, selecting the brush pressing shift dragging up and it duplicates that brush then I want to resize by just dragging it across and I want to create my walls and my walls usually the s uh, size of them is 128 units so I'm going to drag it up to 128 go back into uh, this side then what I'm going to do I'm going to duplicate this shift drag I'm gonna move it all the way over here and I have my two walls I'm going to go back to the top and I'm going to create the rest of the two walls so shift drag scale it down drag it across and then again shift drag down and drag it down also you want to be very careful that you don't have intersecting brushes like this this is very bad uh, you wanna have clean geometry so make sure that when you are building your rooms no brushes intersect that is why it's very important to keep everything on grid so let's go back into our um, side view and the way I'm choosing which uh, viewport to go into is I'm middle mouse clicking so I don't select anything and that way I select that viewport and then shift Z to maximize the viewport now shift drag up and we have our ceiling uh, now I'm just gonna save at this point and let's go inside our room and we have our character inside our very basic first room